Anxiety is fear, and fear is weakness, right? As men, we think we need to be strong and shivering in fear because it's coming round to our turn to introduce ourselves, or our planes just hit some turbulence, doesn't seem to fit that image. Sometimes it appears when we head into heavy adult stuff, like with actor Chris Evans. Where did that change? I mean, when, when did the anxiety start to uh, When it actually matters, you know, when you're like auditioning for, you know, for your work, your career, your life, you know, you're an adult, it's not just fun and games, you're actually trying to build something, and when it doesn't work out, you start to kind of get, you know, we believe we should be impassive, quiet, calm in the face of danger. If we're anxious a lot of the time, there must be something wrong with us, a character flaw, or some kind of chemical imbalance in our brains. We hope that there's some way to carve it out or push it away. But there's a big problem with this kind of thinking. It leads to some really negative thoughts about yourself, and generally loneliness, isolation, and worse anxiety. If I'm hanging with some mates and start feeling a bit anxious about whether to jump in on the conversation, maybe I just stay quiet as I'll probably just sound stupid anyway. And then I think, oh my gosh, I'm such a loser. I can't even step up and say what I think. Do you think I'm gonna feel more confident or less? In that moment, it can feel like the anxiety is some kind of foreign entity trying to make life hard and us to feel terrible. It's got to be something wrong with me. This can't be functional. Well, actually, your brain is doing its job to keep you alive. It's triggering the release of adrenaline to cause adaptive changes in your body and give you access to tons of energy. Adrenaline makes you stronger, way stronger. We've all heard stories of the incredible feats people have pulled off when in the midst of a crisis. Mothers lifting cars off their children and so on. They end up with torn muscles afterwards, but this is the incredible strength that adrenaline lends us. And it's not just strength. Speed, acceleration, explosive power. Your senses are enhanced. Visual acuity, hearing, even your sense of time slows as your brain speeds up. That's not weakness. The problem is in you viewing it that way. Let me explain. Anxiety is a common and normal response to threat, including social ones like being rejected. Now, say in that example, where I'm having trouble jumping in on that conversation, I notice my anxiety and I go, wow, a lot of extra energy here. Part of my brain must be expecting this to go horribly wrong. I really value being courageous, so I'm gonna jump in there and say something, anything, and we'll just see how it goes. How am I feeling now? Nervous, excited, and decisive, somewhat self-positive. It's the massively negative self-condemnation that was causing the lion's share of the fear. Anxiety can be an overprotective and powerful system, and that can get in the way. Kind of like an overprotective older brother. And while that older brother can be problematic, you wouldn't describe them as weak. They can make life more difficult and get in the way at times, so do get help with anxiety. You can bring it down and not have way too much energy in situations you don't need it. Please keep in mind, you are not weak. You just don't have the right process in place for assessing threat. And you actually need to view yourself that way to be willing to get help. Getting help from an expert who can help you learn that process is really hard if you're in the midst of a shame storm. Realize that anxiety, or any emotion for that matter, is normal. We all have them. I was alone, but I was surrounded by so many people. I mean, I got knocked into this state of loneliness because I saw that people were looking at me, but in my eyes, it wasn't necessary. It was, it was probably friendly, but I That's not how it feels yeah, internally, right? I felt, yeah. I felt like I was being chased. Emotions are a collection of bodily changes to help us adapt to the situation. They can be more intense or not at the right time, and they're still a shared human experience. Beating yourself up about experiencing anxiety will only make it worse. Believe that you are whole and wonderful and strong. In that belief, you will find that you are courageous enough to share yourself with others, your true self, not just what you think they can accept. You're able to take risks and live your life to the full. Bravery without fear is not bravery. It's just a lack of imagination. Engaging in something even after your brain has shown you a projection of it all going wrong, that's bravery. Keep that in mind next time your brain calls you weak. 
And if you want some more awesome videos, they're over here.